They're going to have to crank up that heat for everybody for yeah, sure. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, the good news is, though, you don't need the rain jacket. We have needed kind of an assortment of winter and wet weather gear over the past couple of weekends. Yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> Today, you just need the layers and you'll be all set, the warm layers. Here's a look at our weather headlines. Dry and chilly today, slightly warmer tomorrow, but still dry. As we head through the day today, we're expecting that air quality will stay good. So that's good news for us after all of that smoke that we've been dealing with from the fire. As long as nothing changes with that fire today, we will not see an impact to our air quality from the smoke. Some great news there. We do have a wintry mix possible on Monday. The storm doesn't look all that significant, but it could be impactful because of the timing. Here's a look at satellite and radar where we're nice and dry as we're starting off the morning. Temperatures are in the low 30s. It's a noticeable difference from yesterday when we were in the mid 60s to start off the day. We're about 30 degrees cooler and it is uh, it is a striking difference for sure. So grab those layers. Yesterday we hit our high in the morning and then we just gradually started to see temperatures tumble as the cold front moved through. So we hit our low later in the day. No matter what though, we were still pretty far above normal as far as highs and lows are concerned. As we head into the day today, we are not going to be above normal. Temperatures only get into the upper 30s for the triad and the foothills. The mountains get to 30 degrees. We've got 10 to 20 mile per hour winds in the mountains as well, 10 to 15 in the triad, making things feel even a little colder. Most spots will feel like they're below freezing for most of the day and the mountains of course will be below freezing for the entirety of the day. You might be wondering about rain. Well, of course, we got uh, quite a bit yesterday and the day before. So we got about over a quarter of an inch of rain in Greensboro yesterday. That takes our February total already to almost an inch of rain. It's about double what we've normally had at this point. And we are above normal on the year, which is good news because we ended 2021 so dry. We definitely needed that rain. Here's a look at the 12 hour forecast. Temperatures getting into the upper 30s, 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. Sunny skies throughout the day today. The next couple of hours, we still could see some slick spots on roadways because of all of that rain. So you definitely want to be careful, especially in the foothills where we got a substantial amount of rain in Mount Airy. The mountains temperatures getting to 30 degrees this afternoon, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds. I wanted to show you Monday's forecast here. We have this low coming up off the coast. It'll push some moisture to us and temperatures are just cold enough that we'll end up with a wintry mix to start. I'm not expecting snow or ice accumulations, but because of that time frame, early morning into 10, 11 a.m. on Monday, we continue to see that during the Monday morning commute. By the afternoon, it changes that's just to scattered rain showers. So that could be an issue for us for sure despite the scattered shower activity we'll talk more about that and also a warm-up to come coming up